Hi, I'm Marja Simon. <laughs>
and uh, have to take medication and go to doctor visits and now suddenly it becomes urgent and then it goes from important but not urgent to important and urgent and unfortunately especially when it comes to things like health that's the time that people start paying attention hopefully because now it becomes urgent with the threat of permanent illness, decapitation, and death. Why on earth would we want to wait until we get there? So I urge you. Hello, Melanie. Welcome. So good to see you here. Hi, Laura. Welcome. Today we're talking about um, getting elevated. And getting elevated is about doing the things that are important but not urgent. And doing them every single day. Like, like I said, I call it my daily dozen. Moving into it so that it becomes part of your daily routine. For me personally, I find that it's important to do these things first thing in the morning. Once the rest of the day, the rest of my schedule, the rest of my life starts to step in, it's really, really easy to overstep, ignore, and forget about the important but not urgent quadrant. But like I said, that is the quadrant that creates the story of your life that you really, really want to live. So let me ask you, what are you gonna put in your important but not urgent quadrant? What's in there? What are you intentionally putting in there that you're gonna do every single day to move the needle ahead? If you are writing your book, you know, Laurel is one of the our beautiful clients that we get to support and serve and I'm supporting her in the writing of her book and it's wonderful. So now, and yes, Melanie says love this method of time management. Laurel is the queen of time and her book it was going to go further and deeper into time and managing and all of the things and, um, and it's going to be powerful and put out in the market. But that doesn't go out unless Laurel is actually managing it as an important but not urgent task. Because I, trust me, all of the things that get in the way of us doing the things we wanna do, becoming an author, getting in shape, traveling the world, spending time with our children, whatever it is, starting our business, growing our business, calling our, our friends, going on a date, whatever it is that is important to your life, to the elevation, to the growth, to the expansion of the things that are your life. You know, if you're not doing the things in that quadrant of important but not urgent, we usually end up with a life we don't want to live. We usually end up with a life on default. We usually end up with a life that, like I said, is instead of elevating, is de-escalating. Because everything is either growing or dying. You get to decide in advance which one of those quadrants, which one of those categories you want your life to be in. And every single day is that decision. It's in the little daily decisions that our destiny is formed. It's in the little daily decisions that our destiny is formed. So are you getting up and doing this stuff? Or are you rolling back over and hitting snooze and going back to sleep and dragging out of bed and throwing down a cup of coffee and grabbing, I don't know, a, a cigarette or a donut and, and running into the office and sitting at the desk and sitting there for eight hours, running home, turning on the news, infusing your body with all of that negativity, going to sleep with the news blaring and going into your psyche and making you mentally and emotionally and physically sick and ticking. Are, is that your life? Are those the decisions that, are, that you're making daily, those small daily decisions that are deflating and de-escalating your life? What are the, ah, I love it. Angelia said, I'm going to water my garden today. That is a beautiful decision because being outside in nature, again, important, but not urgent. Being outside in nature is an elevating activity, connecting with the earth moving us with putting your hands in the soil there's so much health there's so many health benefits to that absolutely wonderful melanie says making those small decisions create the habit that shape our lives yes thank you for that quote i absolutely know the value of doing the things that get us elevated i also know the pain of not doing those things and anytime i'm noticing that my life is slipping back into something that I don't want it to be. 
when I notice that, let's say my energy is going down. If I notice that, let's say for example, uh, business is not going as strongly as it, it, it used to. If I notice that there are whatever it is, the things that are important to me, if I notice that I'm feeling disconnected from my children, if I notice that, oh, am I doing the important things? Am I calling? Am I spending time with them? Am I doing the things that matter? So those are the things that I want you to look at when talking about that quadrant, that important quadrant of important but not urgent. So get elevated, stay elevated, daily choices every day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming on live. Nice to see you guys. All right. Bye, Jardine, Angelia, Meds, Laurel, <laughs> Angelia, everybody on here watching live, everyone watching on the replay. Thank you. Go get elevated. Write down your daily dozen. Write down the dozen things that you're going to do every day that are in your important but not urgent quadrant in the, all of the areas of your life. All right, go take care of your health. Go take care of, so faith, family, fitness, finance. That's a nice, easy way to remember it, the four Fs. Faith, family, fitness, finance. What are you doing to elevate in every area of your life? Peace, I'm gonna go finish my workout, gotta go, bye.